In this video, we're going to talk about downloading and installing fonts. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search for the fonts that you want to install. So on my Creative Fabrica account, I found the Magical Font Bundle. It's got 50 fonts, and so I am going to download this bundle. Once the download is complete, you're going to go into your downloads folder and you're going to open that font bundle folder. And we're going to download this Adanitha or Adanitha, however you pronounce it. I just picked the first one because it'll be easier for you to see that that's the one that we are downloading. So once you find the file and the font that you have chosen, you're going to click on that file and open it. Once the file is open, you'll see that there are two choices. You've got open type font and you've got true type font. Uh, for designing, you're going to want to choose the open type fonts or OTF because they've got advanced preset features. Um, the open type fonts offer those glyphs that everyone is looking for, the little curly cues at the end that you can add. So that gives you more design options. So that's what we're going to install. We're going to install the open type font. So the top blue arrow here, you can see that it's the open type that was opened. And then in the second arrow, you can see the word install. So you just click that button install. Once you've installed the font that you wanted to use, you're going to open a design program. Now I'm using Word, so I made sure that I opened Word fresh. I closed out Word completely and then opened it up fresh. And then you can see there that the Adanitha is in there and I'm able to use that now. That font that I just showed you didn't have a lot of the, the glyphs, the, the fun little things that we can add to our designs. So I went in and I downloaded this Love Seed Bonus. So after I installed this, I thought it would be easier if I did a video walking you through using the character map and inserting some of those swashes and glyphs. So I, did, I do have a video coming up next. And please note that when I say 48 inches, I meant 48 as my font size. One more thing that I wanted to show you was how to do those cool swooshes and glyphs. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your character map. Now you can type that up here so that you can um, find your character map. And again, I am designing in Word. So now I'm pulling up a different font. This one's called Love Seed. And as you can see, it's got all kinds of um, letters here. But this, what I want you to see is at the end is where these, these hearts are and the swooshes. Um, so once you get into your character map, you're going to, um, you can select that. And then you're going to copy it. So then you can go to your Word document and you can paste that in. So now I'll make this bigger so that you can see it here. It came up as, um, so it's an H with a heart. So let's go. Um, you know, so you can type something, but you have that swoosh at the end here, that heart. So let's go and insert something else. So now you'll see that that character map is still open. It's just down here at the bottom. So then you can go in and you can find another swoosh, find whatever you want. Um, uh, we can select that one. Oops, now it's got both of them in there. So I'm going to take the other one out. We'll copy it. And then we're going to paste it into our document. So Control V, and then you can highlight it. And again, you can add letters before it and after it. So let's do, uh, whoops, there it left me, but I can, it's still on my board. So I'm gonna just control V 
and then I'm going to enlarge it again. Let's make it about 48 inches so you can see it here. And I'll put I love, and then we'll put you at the end. And you see how you've got that heart in there now? So that is how you add those glyphs. So I just wanted to show you that. Again, it's the character map. And you can find character map by going to search and just typing in character map. And so once you find the one that you want, you put it in here, delete the one that's in there, and then um, you just select it. It'll put it in there. Then you hit copy. And so then you can either go up and paste it in from here, or you can hit control V and paste it in. So um, control V, paste it right in there again. So that is how you use glyphs. Thanks for watching. The link to Creative Fabrica is below. That's where the fonts came from. And if you liked my video, please subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.